<laughs> oh, they sure messed with the wrong woman. She tells Local 4 she hopes her story will make criminals think twice. Glad to have you. Glad to be. Her siblings jokingly call her Rambo, but Paris Ainsworth could have easily been killed. Her attacker shot her four times, but she had eight bullets for them. If I wouldn't have had my gun, I would be dead today. Late Saturday night, she arrived home after working a double shift. She saw two men moving closer. Before she got out of the car, she put her 45 caliber handgun in her pocket. And he said, don't pull it. And he shot immediately. She was hit three times in the side and once in the hand. It was not her shooting hand. I said, you pulled out and start shooting. One, he was right in the middle of the street. The other one was right here on the side. Paris waited on a neighbor's porch until EMS arrived. I kept applying pressure to my side of my where the blood was coming from. A police source says the two men were arrested after showing up wounded at Sinai Grace Hospital, the same place where Paris was being treated. I'm extremely proud of her because she was able to return fire back. She had something to protect herself. If she don't, she would be dead. She has a faint scar, but a strong memory of a mugger hitting her with a gun 10 years ago. Two years ago, she got a concealed weapons permit. This is ludicrous, the way that they are just robbing and trying to take stuff from people and killing people. She praises Detroit police for the help they gave that night, but she's convinced that law-abiding citizens need to be ready to protect themselves. Well, could he have shot you because he thought you were going to shoot him? No, he didn't shoot me because he felt as though I was going to shoot him. He didn't care. He just shot. He didn't look like, oh, my God, I shouldn't have. He just had, like, the devil in him. Paris is 51. No. She has four grandsons and works in health care. She has two handguns and trains regularly. I thank God that I'm here in my family. It was, it was horrible. I never want to see anything like that again. We have no details yet on the criminal case, but Paris Ainsworth tells me she is eager to testify. One of her big sisters tells me I used to bully her, and I'm not going to mess with her anymore. In Detroit, I'm Roger Weber, Local 4. I don't blame her. She's pretty tough. Roger, do we know where the men were wounded? Well, we're a little sketchy on that. Uh, we know from the police source that one of them was hit in the leg. Uh, not sure about the other one, but we are told that both of them were arrested in the hospital, where at least one of them was getting medical treatment. All right. Our Roger Weber reporting for us live.